Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are doing a style video. It has been a long time for obvious reasons, but there has definitely been quite a few things that I've accumulated over the last couple of months that I really wanna share with you that are kind of perfect for the spring summer transition moment that we're in right now. Oh, I've had a haircut. Do you like it? I went for a bit of an in-between. I didn't go super short. I needed a bit off the length. It was starting to look a bit like spaniel ears. I went to Claire. Oh, I love my Claire's. Claire for my brows, Claire for my hair. They're both brilliant. I will link her down below for you. But um, yeah, super, super chuffed with that. But back to the style. There's quite a lot of Arquette in here. I'm really feeling the oversized vibes of Arquette right now. Some of it is gifted, some of it is like stuff that I've bought myself. I can't remember what is what, but I will put everything in the description box. I'll double check my emails and everything, just so you know. But the pieces that I've bought, the pieces that I've been gifted have all been things that you probably would have seen already, I'm not gonna lie, because I've been living in them. These are all non-maternity pieces, but they are oversized. Everything is very stretchy, so hopefully, there is something for everyone here. I'm not expecting a lot of these things to work when I'm like 40 weeks pregnant, but for now they're working, they're making me feel a little bit more like myself and I am very here for that. I'm gonna share with you each piece and then on the screen, I'm gonna put three different ways that I'm currently styling it. So the first piece, I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. It's these, <laughs> it's the Arquette Pima Cotton Long Sleeve T-shirts. I have it in the off-white, which is what I'm wearing today. I have it in the white. I have it in the black. I will share with you now the three different ways that I would wear those three different t-shirts. I'm just obsessed with these. I have them in a size medium for reference. It is a very oversized fit. I think pregnant or not though, I actually do like the fit of the medium. I like that it's big and baggy. I like that the fabric is nice and thin. So if you do wanna tuck it in, you haven't got loads of fabric like bunching up in your jeans and your leggings and your skirt, whatever you're wearing. I'm gonna stop myself there because I could go on about these t-shirts forever. You guys know that I love them. So yeah, number one, these t-shirts. Another thing that I'll try and keep it short and sweet for is this Arquette oversized, like beige stripe cotton poplin shirt. I have this in the white, I have it in the black, and now I have it in this, which is perhaps my perfect shirt, like beige, neutral, a stripe, super oversized. I love it. It is fresh out of the wash because it goes straight into the wash. It dries, I put it straight back on my body and it's if I'm not wearing this, <laughs> I'm wearing this right now. Um, just love the fit of it. I wear it in a size 38 for reference. That's what I was wearing before I was pregnant too. There is plenty of space for a food baby, an actual baby. You can wear it as a cover-up, kind of more of a jacket moment with a vest top underneath. Um, yeah, just absolutely beyond obsessed with this. I think there are so many different ways to wear it. I always have sort of a shirt of the summer. I feel like last summer it was this from With Nothing underneath. Like I had a little lemon moment. I mean, I've still been wearing this an absolute load as well, but I feel like this is gonna be the shirt of the summer for me. Okay, we're still on the Arquette train, and I feel like this dress is probably something I wouldn't have bought for myself if I wasn't pregnant. Like, I'm looking at this thinking, that's a great maternity dress <laughs> right there. But I still think maternity or not, this works as a really nice, airy moment. It's quite a long dress. I'd say it's sort of midi length on me. I'm five foot seven. You've got sort of three quarter length sleeves, this collar around the top, and I'm pretty sure that it's linen or a linen blend of some kind. So I was just thinking, I want something that isn't really gonna touch my body <laughs> when it's really hot and it's really sweaty and I wanna wear black, <laughs> but I don't wanna completely sweat my nuts off. I think this is a really, really nice option for that. Like you can see how I styled it here. I feel like there's quite a bit of versatility in it if you wanna like dress it up a little bit, if you just want it to be super, super casual. I'm currently wearing it in a 40, but it's just airy. There's a lot of space. I look forward to a day when it's hot enough to wear this, although I probably will regret <laughs> saying that. I'm so happy that this came back into stock because I've been eyeing this up on the Arquette website since last summer, I think. <laughs> and then when I found out I was pregnant back in the day, I was on the website like trying to buy it. I was like, I really, really think this is gonna be a great dress for me this summer. And it's been out of stock, but it's back in stock. And it's just a cotton poplin, I think again. 
sheared summer sundress. So it's got these strappy little straps at the top and then this sheared fabric, which is brilliant for my forever expanding bosom. <laughs> I think this is gonna work really, really well for that. And then it kind of cuts off at the waist. And so obviously if you're not pregnant, it's just gonna be nice, spacious. It has pockets, I know. And the fabric is just so thin, so light and airy just a lovely moment like one day when we go on holidays again this is going to be a great holiday dress but for me right now it kind of cuts off like just as the bump kicks in so i have loads and loads of space for my bump under there i'm wearing it in a medium currently i probably would have gone from medium before pregnancy as well i just don't like things being too tight under my armpits and i feel like the small in this would be a little bit tight under there and I'm not into that. But I'm just so happy that I was able to get my hands on this because, um, yeah, it's something that I've been eyeing up for a long time. I think Hannah Krosky has this from last summer and also Kim from Love Cloth Blog. Always struggled to say that. And they look so fabulous in this. So, yeah, it's back in stock, people. We have finally diverted away from Arquette, but actually not that far because <laughs> we've gone to and other stories. They're sister company. Um, this, again, is probably something a bit like the long, like, baggy linen dress. This is probably something that I wouldn't have bought if I hadn't been pregnant, but I was just looking for trousers. You know my thoughts on maternity jeans, we've already had that conversation, but I do love a legging moment. And I remember Megan Ellaby, when she was pregnant, was always signposting to and other stories, elasticated waistband, leggingy trouser things. So I saw these and they're fab. I absolutely love them. They're from Under the Stories. I have them in a medium, although I would say a large probably wouldn't go amiss for me right now. I'd say non-pregnant, a medium would be perfect. And they're just that ribbed fabric. I like love a ribbed fabric at the moment. I just think it's a really luxe, chic look. They're in this cream. And again, I love a cream head to toe look. You'll see here in the styling, like that is just my favorite way to wear these. And they're just very comfortable. <laughs> like that is kind of what I need right now. I'm wearing like leggings today. I wear leggings most days. But I feel like these have a bit of versatility about it. They're a bit more trousery than a legging. So really, really enjoying wearing these. They also do them in a gray, they do them in a black. I think for me, I would definitely get the most wear out of the cream. I already have some black leggings, the one I'm wearing today. These are the Norma Kamali ones, the ones with the slit at the bottom. I love wearing these. They're so comfortable. There's so much space in them. So I don't need to go overboard. I've got these ones. I've got my Lululemon ones if I want a straight leg legging. And I feel like that's kind of enough for me right now. Let's have a talk about these sandals from Mango. I love my Teva sandals. They're brilliant. I know I'm going to wear them a ton this summer as well, but I kind of wanted a more formal version of them because I got so much wear out of them last summer. I was like, I want a slightly more chunkier, just a slightly more like put together, polished version of them, which kind of is the Chanel dad sandal, which I love. I mean, one day if I win the lottery, <laughs> I'm buying a pair of Chanel dad sandals. They are incredible, but they are so, so, so expensive. I found these as a dupe and I think these are perfect. And I think now I look at all of my shoes together, I'm happy. I've made peace. I'm like, these are the shoes that I need in my life. Um, these are just a chunky leather Chanel dad sandal dupe. Uh, this kind of like quilted fabric. I have them in a six. I would say they run a little bit small. If you're someone who's between sizes, I'm kind of a six, seven. I would say the seven is probably a more comfortable fit. I can squeeze into the six. It's fine. It's good. Just giving you the facts, you know? Um, but yeah, you would have seen these loads in this video already. I probably would have styled every single outfit with them. I'm ready for sandal weather. Like sandal weather, where are you? I, I really want to get some proper wear out of these. Also love that the bottoms of them are nice and rubbery. <laughs> They're just non-slippy. I keep buying bloody shoes that I have to go take to the cobblers and get like a sole put on them, but these are perfect as they are. And finally, two things that I guess are more in the accessory department. I'm not gonna be sharing styling options for these because you don't really need to see me in a bikini right now. <laughs> Mainly because I haven't done the necessary maintenance, if you catch my drift. Um, but we live near the sea. It always happens that this beach day just creeps up on you. It's kind of crap weather, not that great. And then there's an amazing day where everyone wants to go to the beach, get in the sea, and, and it just kind of happens and comes from nowhere. And I didn't want to be 
unprepared for that moment. Um, there is no way my new boobs would fit into, oh god, where are they from? Solid and striped. Mm. I love their bikinis. I have one in black. I have one in leopard print. I love them. There is no way <laughs> my new boobs would fit into those. So I knew that I needed to invest in a transitional, good for pregnancy, good for after the baby, just like black bikini. And I'd had my eyes on this brand called Half Baked. Um, they're made in the UK for quite a while. Emma Horro has one of their swimsuits and it's lovely. I've been waiting for the black swimsuit to come back into stock because I just think it looks like the most perfect, simply designed, beautiful, flattering cut of a swimsuit. Like not too high on the leg, not too low on the leg. Oh, desperate for that. But I just thought I would buy the bikini for now. So I've got the bikini bottoms and I've also got the bikini top. Da -da. Um, and it has a lot more coverage than my solid and striped one, but it just makes me feel really good when I put it on. Like I'm actually buzzing now for the beach day. I can't wait to put this on, be at the beach with my little bump, with this on, my bikini bottoms on. The bikini bottoms are really nice actually because they're not up the bum, but again, they're not super full coverage. It's kind of that Brazilian half cut kind of. I can't explain it. It's just sort of in the middle. Basically, I don't feel like my ass is hanging out. <laughs> I'm just really, really impressed with the quality, with the finish. It's just a really nice brand to support, so I will link these down below for you. And then finally, I have a dressing gown. I love my fleecy dressing gown. Oh my word, it's so great. But my body temperature is all over the shop at the moment, and I find myself being rather warm a lot of the time. Um, so I just wanted something a little bit more summery to slip into. And I found this on H&M when I was looking at baby clothes on H&M. Oh, turns out buying little tiny baby clothes is really fun. But it's just a linen wrap around dressing gown. I'm sure I, I can put it on now. <laughs> Mark is gonna be freaking out because it's really by the microphone. <laughs> so I won't get it on the microphone. But basically it's kind of, to knee length, I would say, You've obviously got a wrap around the middle. It comes in loads of different shades. I personally just went for the kind of biscuity, linen-y one. I live in this shade, I love the shade. I picked it up in a small medium. It is more than big enough. There is more than enough fabric here to get around him, me, everything else. But yeah, I thought I would mention it because I know it's one of those things that sometimes you just want a little treat yourself moment. You want to update your dressing gown wardrobe. <laughs> You need a winter one and a summer one. This is my summer one. That is everything. I feel like I've bought a lot more <laughs> in my pregnancy clothing wise than I thought I would, but there's just something about buying a few things that you can add into your wardrobe that make you feel great in a moment where perhaps you're a bit like all over the shop and you're not feeling too great. I've really found solace in style and like finding new silhouettes, like finding clothing pieces that are working for me right now that also will work for me in the future, postpartum, like it's just making me, it's making me feel good. <laughs> Retail therapy is helping. <laughs> for him, for me, I just absolutely love it all. Um, but yeah, I definitely think I'm at the point, I'm like, okay, I think I've got my maternity pieces down. Let's see if I can get through the summer with what I've got, we will see. But thank you so much for watching. Everything will be linked down below for you and I'll be back next week, I think, with a little weekly vlog. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.